All right, the Kafir C10, my first Israeli vehicle. Let's uh, give that a go. Who needs screw skill anyways? Okay, we're in a simulator match, Sinai Peninsula with an uh, Israeli jet, nothing wrong with that. Uh, or Colombian, actually, next to an uh, Iranian teammate, perfect, makes perfect sense. Nice cockpit. Stock loadout is uh, two Python 3s and two Jerbys. Uh, to be honest, that's what I would go with even if I had everything unlocked. But uh, we're stock, so also no chaff, only flares. Uh, when you have everything researched, it also gets some laser guided bombs, but uh, I, I mainly play air to air, so that's what we'll be looking at. The heads up display says EEGS, but the stats screen doesn't mention it, and uh, I don't think it has it. MFDs is just the map and the radar. We do get a helmet mounted sight. This match is almost over. Uh, after this, we'll do another one and uh, we'll uh, look at all of its uh, capabilities uh, low altitude, high altitude. It's, uh, right now, it's the 13.0 to the 14.0 bracket, and I, I think it'll handle well in an up tier. We'll see. It'll have up tiers about 50% of the time, but the other 50% of the time it'll have a full down tier. So uh, it's uh, it's good to test it in a full up tier, because if it handles well there, then you will know it handles well in a down tier. It's got a whole bunch of radar modes. I'm using the track while scan. It only got 70 degrees width, but it's an uh, IESA radar. And what that basically means is there's like a whole bunch of small antennas that then can, without mechanically moving, uh, follow different targets. Fox 3. Got him. Okay, but an A-9B could have gotten him, so I don't know if that even counts. 